Okay, so I've got my picture here. I want to convert it to monochrome, but a particular flavor of monochrome. Let's come to adjustment, recolor. Now what this does, it affects your picture so it's all the same color, but at different levels of dark and light and saturation. So at the moment, no, don't like that at all. First thing you normally do with this is you drop the saturation down so you're getting a more knocked back effect. And you can almost tell what I'm gonna do, can't you? If I start moving this somewhere to more towards orange, look at that. You've got yourself a sepia effect, easy as pie. And I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to call this sepia 01. Why 01? Because the fact of the matter is people often think, well, what's the perfect sepia tone? And the simple answer is it doesn't exist. For the simple reason, sepia tone is basically an old photo. Now, old photos are done on different kinds of paper using different kinds of chemical processes. So there's no one definitive sepia tone. It's kind of brownish. That's all you really know. Like that, I've seen sepia tones like that, which are fairly convincing. So let's add that as a preset. Let's call that sepia zero, whoops, two. And I can keep on going with all different kinds of effects. It's good for sepia tone, but it's also good for other things as well. Look, if I come over to here, look, I've got this kind of bluish tone there. That's quite, that's quite a nice look there, depending on how saturated it is. Black and white, okay, that can be all right, but stick a little bit of color in there and you're getting a rather nice knockback effect. Let's call that, what should we call this? Bluish, zero one. You can start to emulate different kinds of effects. If I take it more towards cyan and up the saturation, that actually looks like cyanotype. It's a way of processing a certain kind of paper. Again, it's an old style effect, but you do see it around, so there we are, we've got that. Let's call that cyanotype zero one. And if I knock back the saturation a little bit, make it be a little bit more green. Okay, it almost looks gray, but it's not quite gray. That is gray. This is a little bit more there. That looks like a selenium effect. Again, you used to see this as well. In real world photography, as opposed to all this digital nonsense. So let's call this selenium or selenium 01. So you can see the recolor adjustment. Yeah, you can use it for sepia. You can also use it for a number of different effects. And look, I've got all these different effects to call at will. Save them off, and they're all there just waiting for you. Great amount of flexibility. You can do things really, really fast. All right, I think that's everything we need to say about that. Let's move on.